If you have ego and arrogance on your side, you don't really need any more enemies to pull you down. In life, I've seen a lot of bad things happen to good people and sometimes I used to always wonder that why is this happening to this person? Hi all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Monish and I am an accountant. I live here in Melbourne, Australia. I moved here when I was 21 years old and in the last 16 years or so that I've been here, I've found that I have gone through so many gamut of emotions. I've felt that uh, at times I've been really frustrated, I've been stressed, I've been uh, wanting to spend time with my family, friends, but not been able to because of the distance or because of circumstances. And I also feel that a lot of people around me feel the exact same way. And when I was around 30 years old, I realized that life's passing too quickly and I'm not really doing the things that actually fulfill me. And in this quest of wanting to lead a more happier and a more fulfilled life, I came across these learnings from the Bhagavad Gita that really helped me in my journey. I'd like to share these learnings with you. There are just about four of them and I'll try to simplify them as much as possible. The reason I want to share it with you guys is that I want you guys to know this right now rather than knowing this years down the line. So the first point that really helps me is being detached. Now, let me give you an example. Let's say it's a Saturday afternoon, you're out with your friends or family, you're in a mall, you've just watched a movie, you've done some shopping, you've got some really good deals, uh, two for one, 30% off, I mean life's great and you're just in really high spirits. You come back to the parking lot, you see your car and someone scratched it. And all of a sudden, you're just filled with rage, you're filled with anger. Whatever happened in the last few hours just doesn't matter because you're such a car enthusiast. You love your car, your car's your baby. And how dare someone do that? It really, really affects you. Firstly, what just happened can be fixed. All you need to do is take it to the uh, paint repair guys and they will fix it. It'll cost you a bit of money and if you can afford a car, you should be able to afford fixing that little scratch. Also, your car is a non-living thing and it's also something that does not have any emotions uh, to you because it is a non-living thing. What if you looked at the same situation this way? You saw your car, it scratched, you be like, you know what, it's okay, I'll get it fixed and let's not take away the joy from this particular moment. Let's just enjoy where we are. Now, that is what detachment means. It does not mean that you don't need to be attached to something. What it means is that the attachment should not take away the joy of the moment. It should not take away your happiness. Point number two is ego. Let's talk sport. After a certain point in sport, everybody is talented. So talent isn't that virtue that will take you to the next level. If, for example, you're playing in the state team and if you want to go play for your country, the only thing that will differentiate you after a certain point is how much you feed your talent and how much you improve your talent. So if you're a 15, 16 year old standing there thinking, uh, I'm the greatest of all, I'm just 16 years old, I've made it to the state team and I'm just going to breeze through to the next level and uh, represent my country. Well, that is just your ego talking. And in my opinion and according to the Bhagavad Gita, if you have ego and arrogance on your side, you don't really need any more enemies to pull you down. You yourself will pull yourself down. Now, in life as well, how many times do we think and say, why did this person talk to me this way? Or why did that person say this to me? And how dare they say this to me? Don't they know who I am? Yes, the question is, who are you? What have you done? Everyone has their achievements. Everyone has their life path. And if you look at life in that perspective, and if you don't lead your life with a lot of ego, what will start to happen is that you'll start to pick strengths and weaknesses in every single person. Because you're not looking at individuals from an egoistic point of view. You're not looking at people who are better than you from an egoistic point of view and saying, that person just got lucky. That person just uh, is there because of his father or his mother. That is one point that has really helped me in the last 16 years. I have always looked at people and analyzed their strengths and weaknesses. I have picked what I need to improve based on how other people, my peers sometimes even, have done things better than me and I'd be like, oh, this person did this, this and this and that's why they were successful and I wasn't. I've also looked at mistakes people have made and said, that's something I don't want to do in my life. Put ego and arrogance aside, it'll be one of the biggest contributions to you leading a more fulfilled and a happy life. Point number three is this concept of us being not a human but a spirit passing through this life. So I don't completely agree with rebirth and that side of the Bhagavad Gita but, but something that's helped me is 
the things that happen to you don't really happen to you they happen for you so they happen for you to be a better person it happens so that you can be a stronger person learn certain principles in life and it happens to you to teach you all these lessons so that you can serve your purpose and in serving that purpose is where you find happiness in life i've seen a lot of bad things happen to good people and sometimes i used to always wonder that why is this happening to this person they're actually a really nice person but if you think of this concept that things don't happen to you they happen for you you look at hardships in a very different way you look at them as lessons you don't look at them as damn this happened to me again i can't believe this happened to me again i'm so unlucky and you don't and you stop cursing yourself and cursing your circumstances you just look at the hardships you like and you look at it as okay i need to get over this i need to find a way around it and let's try and learn things or improve a certain skill that might help you get over that particular hardship the last point point number 4 is this little saying in the bhagavad gita that goes plant a tree under whose shade you don't wish to sit in that means to give back now this is something that i've learned really recently and i'm trying to implement it in my life as well and a lot of times in my life when i reflect back i've seen people say that if you do good things good things will happen to you if you do this that will happen to you as kids we were told if you pray this will happen to you if you go to church or temple every sunday this will happen to you but the true purpose of life is to actually give back now it doesn't mean that you give back only when you have a lot of money or you have a lot to give back but in your own way in your own little way give something back to the environment give something back to people around you because according to the bhagavad gita the purpose of life kind of is to make this world slightly better than it was handed to you and the only way you can do that is to give without expecting anything back in return when you do good don't even expect that something good will happen to you because the world owes you nothing you do good for yourself you just give it and it happens it happens it doesn't happen it doesn't that's how it is you continue to try and keep giving back again and again and again and my own little point i've added to this lesson is not even to expect to get credit for anything that you do so i'm at a stage in life where i don't care if people don't credit me so if i do something in particular it might be something small something simple i don't want the world to say wow this person did so much or wow this person did that i can't believe it i don't want that i i do it for myself i do it for my own improvement and i've found that there's more peace in that there's more happiness in that anyways that's about it for this video i'm not a guru i'm not someone who's in a position to probably read and translate what the bhagavad gita says but these are just life experiences these are just things i've learned i've read and uh something that i'd like to share with you because when i put these little things into practice i found that my life transformed tremendously not necessarily from a financial perspective but more from a spiritual perspective and more in terms of finding more happiness or being more happy in a year than being unhappy thanks so much for your time i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video